What's up, everyone? We are live at Facebook Live. I haven't been on Facebook Live for a really long time, but I'm excited that we're doing this. Yesterday, I actually posted a photo on Instagram and asked you guys what you wanted to see me train. And a lot of people said back, which made me really excited. When I first started competing, back was probably my worst body part, I guess, and now it's my strongest. So I'm really excited to show you guys my back workout today. Um, so I guess let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna start with a lap pull down. And I kind of have everything set up so I can kind of just make my way through pretty easily. But we're just gonna warm up lightweight back on back on the lat pull down. And we're gonna put our grip where the bar breaks. And we're just gonna roll through it about 15 reps, really nice and easy. Perfect. We just want to make sure we get our back nice and warmed up because it is such a big muscle group. So take a second. So do we have a question? Yeah. Yes. Cool. From YouTube. Awesome. This says, hi Paige, is intermittent fasting good for cutting? Yeah. So I mean, there are so many different styles of dieting, so many different things that work. I have a, I've never tried intermittent fasting, but I have a lot of friends who swear by it and love it. So if it works for you, um, I've heard nothing but really great things about it. And I think from their results and what they say about it, they love it and they enjoy it. So give it a go. Sophie from Facebook says, OMG, you're in Boise? <laughs> I know, right? I'm in Boise. Boise is so cool. I, I'm like, I feel like, what do they call it? The Boise, like, I don't know. They were saying something about like, Everyone in Boise is so nice, so when you come here, you kind of like want to stay, and I feel like I want to stay, stay here now. Everyone's so friendly. Like my Uber drivers, every time I get into an Uber, they're so talkative and friendly. I actually got into an Uber yesterday, and it said on their comment section that this Uber driver talks a lot. I'm like, is that like, I guess that's a Boise thing? I don't know. All right, let's warm up a little bit more. I'm gonna just do one more set, and then we'll get started. So nice and warmed up. When I go through the exercises I'm going to show you guys today, I'm actually going to do different variations. You guys can learn a bunch of different techniques as I'm going through it. So it's not just like one exercise. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. All right, so I'm done with my warm up. Now I'm going to drop the weight a little bit heavier. I'm just going to do a wide grip um, lap pull. We're going to start with that. We're going to do about eight to 12 reps. Do as many as you can from eight to 12. Perfect. Another question? Yes. Cool. Do you prefer full body splits or the typical bodybuilder split? So about a year ago, I started incorporating functional training, which when I do functional training, I'll do more of like a full body split. I love though bodybuilding and I love getting in the gym and lifting weights. It's like where I came from. So I, I personally love a mixture of things. So yeah, good question. Another one? Yes. Um, is it okay for women to lift heavy? Uh, yes, I, yes, definitely. I lift heavy and this is the result of that. <laughs> so I think so. 
<laughs> I think a lot of women, especially like when I first got into the fitness industry, there was such this like, I don't know, stigma about like girls lifting heavy because they're gonna look bulky and manly. And I'm really glad that I was able to play a role and to kind of change that, change what you know women thought about weightlifting because I lift pretty heavy and it's not physically possible to get like giant just by lifting heavy. Is there any more questions? Yeah. Um, John from YouTube said, any advice for somebody just starting their fitness journey? Yeah, you know what? I think the best piece of advice is to just don't give up. Um, I think so many people, we live in a world where instant gratification is like what we see every day and your results in the gym, it's not gonna be like an instant gratification thing. It's gonna take weeks, months, years. So just stick with it. And I know it, at first it's a repetitive and it can seem a little, I don't wanna say boring, but like consistency is key and consistency is re repeating something every single day. And it can get a little like repetitive, right? So just stick with it, um, just don't give up. Best piece of advice. Um, so we're gonna superset the lat pull down with a bent over row. And I wanted to show you two, di two different variations. So we know, um, let me grab, I'm gonna come over here and just grab a barbell really fast. Uh, so when I work out, whether it be for upper body, for legs, whatever it may be, I definitely always wanna incorporate some single arm or single leg movements as well as double, just because when you work double, right? When we're, when we're in here and we're gonna work our row, okay? We're working our row, but if this arm is weaker than this arm, or if this lat is weaker than this lat, or if this leg is weaker than this leg, your other leg is just gonna overcompensate for the weaker link. So, it's really important to always, whatever body part it is, to always remember, okay, if I've done this many, you know, double, double, um, you know, arm or double leg, I need to incorporate something single. So I always try to incorporate that. With a lat pull down, you're using double. So then I'll come over here and I'll do like a single row, single arm. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Is, and you can do double as well, but it's because the bar is not connected, it's gonna work each arm individually. And then we want to keep our reps to 8 to 10, or 8 to 12. And then also with that, switching up your grip, doing supinated, doing overhand, um, that's going to make a big difference too. Do we have another question? Yes, YouTube wants to know, how are you able to keep your abs all year round? Um, obviously diet is super important. Um, I keep my diet all year around. I don't like take a break from eating clean. But um, I also incorporate a lot of full body movements. I'm gonna show you, once we get going, some movements that I do. Um, like instead of seated, I'll do kneeling or standing. So that's really gonna help engage the core more. So I'll show you those and I'll point them out to you. All right, so we're gonna repeat that superset, the pull down and the row three times. And then I always try to increase my weight with every single set, whether it be five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever it is, just try to increase it a little. Awesome. Um, YouTube wants to know, what is your favorite cheat meal? Ooh. Okay. 
Everyone should know that it's pizza. I have a pizza tattoo. <laughs> so if that's not love, then I don't know what is. But it's like the tiniest tattoo ever. When I was getting it done, the tattoo artist was like, this looks like a freckle. <laughs> it's like so small. I don't know if you guys can even see it from there. <sighs> the things you do for Instagram, I swear. <laughs> Is there another question? Yeah, um, what kind of music do you listen to when you work out? I actually have a playlist on Spotify. Um, you guys can just like follow me there, it's free. Um, and I mean, it, it's a mixture of things. Right now I'm kind of going through like a, I guess like a rap kind of phase, but I'll listen to anything. I'll even listen to like country or, or sometimes like R&B. <laughs> gotta make love to the weights, you know? Gotta like feel it, gotta feel it. <laughs> I mean, I listen to everything while I work out. It just depends on my mood. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, and typically you guys don't take this long of a rest in between <laughs> your superset. From your superset, go straight from there to here, and then take your rest in between. Just don't do this. All right. You guys, rule of thumb on this. I want to bring this up here so you guys can see. Okay, so when you're doing a bend over row, instead of pulling straight up, you know, like a Nike swish, you know, that like kind of like design, pull like you're like making a Nike swish. So instead of here, pull like here. So That's really gonna help hit exactly where you need to work when you pull. Is there another question? All right, back to pizza. They wanna know what's your favorite pizza. <laughs> well, <laughs> so this is something else. I don't eat like meat anymore. I'm pescatarian, so I only do fish. So I have a pepperoni pizza on my hand that I can't even eat anymore. So I guess cheese. <laughs> cheese is the only thing I can have. Or margarita. Margarita is good. But yeah, I don't, I don't even, I'm like, I should make these into like anchovies or something. I don't know. But that sounds really bad. Or shrimp pizza, is that a thing? I don't know. Is there another question? Yeah, who is your idol coming into the fitness industry? Ooh, that's a really good question. So back in my day, six years ago, when I first started fitness, um, it was like the girls in magazines, right? It wasn't like, Instagram wasn't like, like a thing like it is now. So your idols had to be people like, that were in magazines. Jamie Eason was one. She, I know also worked with bodybuilding.com and um, Chatty Dunmore. So those were two girls, they were in magazines. Um, Jamie was more of like the magazine, like she was like on all the covers. And then Chatty, I just loved her as like a competitor. I think she brought like such a good, A, physique, and like her stage presence and everything was so incredible. But yeah, I mean, they're amazing. They're so amazing. Okay, last set. Last set. questions yes um, what is do you like to do cardio before or after your workout um, I like to do it after if that's just me I guess I do know some people that do it before I'm like how do you do that <laughs> but I like to do it after um, 
And I don't do much cardio. You know, I rather do like hit, hit cardio instead of like stay on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I rather just do like a hit training sesh, which is gonna work full body, the abs, and get it over with in like 20 minutes and work harder. My 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 whole like training thing is like work smarter, you know? So I like to just work smarter, not harder when it comes to the gym. Um, someone from Twitch wants to know, I'm a beginner at the gym. What are your thoughts on hiring a personal trainer? I think it's a great idea. I think that if you, A, the gym can be extremely intimidating if you don't know what to do. Um, so if you feel more comfortable and more confident when you get into the gym because you know what to do, then it's gonna make your life so much easier. So, I mean, I would recommend it definitely. Or get online, get on bodybuilding.com and look up how to do things and kind of, um, they have videos on there, you know, so you can see exactly what you're doing. You can write down your workout. Um, but I mean, a personal trainer is good too. Good question. Okay, last set, we can move on to something a little bit heavier. YouTube. Do you like to work out by yourself or do you like to have a training partner? Um, so I got, it kind of depends on my mood, but I do love to have a training partner. And you know what? I actually really love to work out with people, um, not only to push you harder and to help you maybe lift heavier or get you through those reps, but if you work out with someone, they probably most likely have a different training structure than you. You can learn so much from training with someone. I feel like every time I train with someone, they'll kind of do something that maybe I don't typically do, so then I'll learn something from them. So there's definitely a lot of benefits, you know, training with a training partner. But I've had training partners before that they don't really train. So you go in to train, and then you're like talking more than you're training. Don't do that. So if you have that kind of training partner, Work out by yourself. <laughs> Are you currently binge watching any TV shows? I don't, that sounds really terrible, but I don't watch TV. I don't have, I wish I did, because all my friends are like, oh, did you see that episode? I'm like, I didn't even know there was a TV show. <laughs> like, I don't watch television. Sometimes I'll watch movies. My life isn't that cool, you guys. Like, it's not as cool as you think it is. <laughs> is there another question? Yes. Um, what's your go-to workout? My go-to workout? Like yeah, in general? So, yep, in general. If you were to choose any workout you could do, what would you choose? Um, you know, I've really grown to love functional training. I don't know if it's because like it's new to me and I've only been doing it a year, but it's like more like full body movements. I'm actually filming a video for bodybuilding.com after this with functional movements, so maybe that'll be somewhere on their site soon. Um, but, and I'm gonna go over like my best full body moves. I love to do that. Um, so I think if I had to pick one thing, that's it, because it works everything. Good question. Okay, so that's superset number one, if you guys uh, were paying attention. <laughs> now we're moving on to superset number two. We're doing cable lap pulls, and then we're doing the landmine. So these are two, I wanted to mix up some stuff and do some things that you typically wouldn't see. I'm going to show you a few different variations <clears throat> of this and why it's beneficial. Both of, everyone always asks like about the abs. So both of these exercises are going to be great for the abs as well. So why I'm doing something like this is, let me see here, maybe a little bit heavier. So the lap pull down is great. It's great to be able to lift heavy. It's really gonna stabilize that lower body because your legs are braced under the bar. 
something like this where you're kneeling or even slightly seated back, it's really gonna help gauge your core because you're, you're not like, your body isn't like stabilized by something. So with this, <clears throat> and if you guys don't wanna like, I know the gym, using like these cables and like, cause these are the main cables, you guys can just do it on like the, what are those called back there where you, you have like the cables kind of hidden away. But, so we're gonna pull our elbows behind our back. So doing anything that you can, kneeling, is gonna help engage your core. And you're here for just eight to 12. You can also come here, sit back just a smidge and pull. And this again is just gonna really engage that core. Perfect. All right, so on here, I'm gonna show you guys two different variations as well. Maybe the first time I'll just show you one variation, the second time I'll show you a different one. The landmine, I can't talk the landmine. The landmine, I love this piece of equipment. It's so versatile, you can do tons and tons of things on it, whether it's legs, back, shoulders, you can literally do everything on it. So, I'm sure you guys have seen the landmine where you pull like this, it's like a common thing. But I really like to do single arm movements, like I was telling you guys before, a single arm or single in anything is like beneficial. So you guys can actually take this and do a single arm movement. So I'm gonna do a supinated grip, which is the underhand. I actually read somewhere that when you can, when you're able to alternate like a supinated grip, it actually works like 5% more. And 5% might not seem like a lot, but if you're in the gym and you're working out, I want to get the most benefit and the most bang for my buck while I'm there. So, supinated grip, underhand. I'm just gonna grab the weight. And I'm just here for 10. Eight to 12, but 10. Arrived. Well, is there another question? Yes, YouTube wants to know, do you have any specific goals right now? Yes, I do. Okay, so the last few months I've been traveling up a storm. I've been like gone way more than I've been home, which is great, I can't really complain. But my goal during that time was because traveling, working out, my workouts were like hotel gyms and you know, have stuff like this. So I'd really improvise, make things work. Um, and diet, traveling, I don't know if you guys know, but it's extremely difficult. So my goal during that time was just to maintain. You know, try not to lose any muscle. Don't like, you know, just maintain, stay, stay, on, stay on track. Now that I'm kind of done with traveling, my goal is to put on some more size. So I'm doing that right now. I've like up my calories, like 1700 calories. I'm doing tons of carbs. I'm scheduling out my meals and I have like a plan now that I'm following. Yes, so my goal right now is just to like gain muscle and put on some size. Awesome, why did you decide to go pescatarian? Ah, that's a really good question. So this is probably TMI, but I'm just gonna tell you guys. So as long as I can remember, even back in high school, I had like digestion issues. And um, as I've gotten older and I've, you know, I know more about the body and I was trying to figure out a way to naturally fix this problem. And a lot of the research that I read, it was about red meat, right? 
and processed meat. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to cut out meat in general altogether. And so I went completely vegan. And for me, it was so hard because I'm from Oklahoma, cattle like capital of the world, and eating no meat was like, it was so difficult for me. So then I was like, okay, well, red meat, processed meats, I'll just put fish back in it and then see if that still is okay. I put fish in my diet and all the digestion issues that I was having like completely went away and it kind of naturally fixed itself. So um, ever since then I've been pescatarian. And it sounds so crazy to me because I was the type of person growing up that I was like, Th those people are crazy. Like how can you not eat meat? Like my whole family thinks I'm like, like got the California bug. Like, are you okay? Like, is everything okay with you? Um, but I mean, it works for me. I really like it. It wasn't a hard transition for me. Um, yeah, so that's why everything's working now. So thank you for that. <laughs> but I'm telling you, like food is the, like you hear this, food is the best medicine. And just by taking out red meat and processed meats, like I not, it, like everything naturally fixed itself. So, you know, food has a lot to do with a lot of things. All right, let's go back to this. Do you drink whey protein after your workout? So because I don't do meat, I don't do whey because, you know, cows. So um, I do vegan protein and I do pea protein, just so you guys know, um, because that's what's worked best for me. I've been, I've been doing research about things and pea protein is a complete protein. So you're still gonna get all your, it's a complete protein. So if you're trying to build muscle, if that's a goal of yours, you need complete protein, proteins in your diet. So, pea works for me, but there's so many like really good proteins out there that if you guys are looking for something being vegan, um, pea, peanut, there's so, there's so many like um, hemp, egg, egg white protein, rice protein. Is there another question? What is the nerdiest thing about you? The nerdiest? Oh my gosh. Um, like what would be something that's nerdy? I don't know, I'm actually just a really big dork though. Like everyone thinks like I'm cool, but I'm really like not. But the nerdiest thing, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm a big like, like dork at heart. Like I just love to laugh and like have a good time. What else is there? Um, uh, do you track your macros and what do they look like? I do track my macros. Well, okay, if I have like a goal for myself, which I do right now, um, I think tracking macros is one of the best things that you can do. Um, my macros right now, I'm doing about 1,700 calories. I'm doing, um, I weigh 130 pounds, so I'm doing about 140 pounds in pro or 140 pounds of protein, 140 grams of protein because I'm trying to build more size. So I upped my protein intake a little bit. Um, I think I'm doing like 150 grams of carbs, so I'm doing carbs with every single meal, and then um, fats. I'm, I think I'm doing 50 grams of fat, so not much fat because I'm doing a ton of carbs. But yeah, I do about five meals a day. I try to do all whole meals, but one is sometimes a shake. Um, yeah, that was a good question. Okay, so round two. I'm gonna show you guys just a double, um, instead of single, I'm doing double with the landmine so you guys can see like a different variation. And that's just with your T-bar, your landmine, and a weight. You're gonna hook this right here just make sure it's like like sturdy and we're gonna pull up and don't rock yourself guys it's gonna hurt make 
should have added more weight to this, but I feel like I'm becoming out of breath when I talk, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore. Glenn from YouTube wants to know, is 48 years old too late to get back in the gym? It's never too late. That's a really good question. Oh my gosh, it's never too late. Okay, I have a client who is older as well, your age. She lives in Texas and she is in better shape than me now. Like she's in the best shape of her life. Um, and now she's also like enrolling back in school and like kind of doing things that she wished she would have, I guess she, said, she says, um, when she was like 20. So it's never too late for anything, for anything. I mean, you can look in the best shape of your life right now. So, good question. What, what else is there? Um, do, how do you deal with cravings? Cravings? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I have cravings. Um, I, I think that the best thing to do is uh, like, um, like punch yourself, just kidding. Um, just <laughs> feel like, uh, do things that you know you can supplement, right? So if I'm craving something sweet, then I'll cry and drink a, a cup of tea with some like stevia in it. Just kidding, I don't do that. But I'll, I'll try to implement something that um, might help that. Like if I'm craving something crunchy, I'll cut up like cucumbers and I'll put some like, um, what's that called? It's like a, like a spice, oh my gosh, top, uh, oh. Tahine? Tahine, yes, tahine. So I'll put like cucumbers um, on a plate, I'll put some like tahine on it, and that gives me that like crunchy, salty like thing that I might be craving. So I'll find a way to like implement something. I try to do a lot of like, um, like non-starchy fibrous vegetables, like peppers, cucumbers, um, kale, spinach, and with stuff like that, you can kind of get creative and make cool things like kale chips. You know, if you're craving something that's like something like that, you can get on Pinterest and Google or um, Pinterest like some healthy snacks. I mean, you can just get super creative with things that are very, very low in calorie. So I'll do like kale chips, cucumber slices, bell peppers. If I'm craving something sweet, then, I mean, I'm telling you, I'll, drinking like a, like a glass of tea with some like sweetener in it has helped me a lot because it kind of gives you that like, if you want like blueberry, you can get like a flavoring and, um, you know, do something like that. But gum has become like my best friend. You know, I think the biggest thing is once you get, like I've, I was out of my diet routine because I was just eating healthy on the road. And when I was out of my diet routine, um, you know, I would snack here and there and whatever. But I've been on my new diet for about two, a week and a half, and I forgot what it was like to just follow like a strict diet and like only eat like what I'm like allowed to eat like on my plan. And so it's been a challenge. But I do remember that when I used to diet like more strict and I was like in the mode of dieting and I was in it for a while, it became easier. So I'm just right now, I'm waiting for that like, like that hump to like give again so I can like be like, okay, I'm not craving anything anymore. But get on Pinterest. I'm telling you, if you just like Pinterest healthy snacks, so much stuff will come up and you'll be like, oh, I can implement that in my diet. Or, oh, I didn't even know about that. The internet is your best friend. You can find anything on the internet. So this is our last set. And again, we want to like move up in weight. And really, really focus on when you pull. Think about what muscle you're working. Like we're not in the gym to just like do the motion. Um, you really just want to like think about like mind, like mind to muscle connection is actually a real thing. So you just want to think about the muscle that you're working when I'm pulling with my lats. I'm thinking about squeezing my lats. You know, listen to your R&B music and just think about like, you know, your lats. Last but not least, I think this is the third set. I'm getting confused. Let's wrap this out and then I'll take some more questions. Ooh, okay, 
another question? All right, YouTube wants to know, what's your biggest gym pet peeve? My biggest gym pet peeve um, would be people that sing out loud. <laughs> I can't, I can't take people that sing out loud. You know those people like, you know, maybe you forget your headphones that day, you know, which sometimes I even contemplate like my life if I forget my headphones that day. I'm like, is working out worth it? Just kidding. Um, but I hate like you forget your headphones or maybe you have one headphone out and you're like just getting it in and then you hear someone like singing off tone because they can't hear themselves singing because they are listening to music. And then you hear them singing and you're like, like this, I got, I'm like this, like, what? I think that's my biggest puppy. So don't do that <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> um, one more question before you move on. Uh, Ryan from YouTube wants to know what is your favorite leg exercise? Okay, so, so like to build your legs. Um, I think that I don't know, I, when it comes to lifting, I really just like like old school lifting. Like I know that people are trying to make like lifting like really cool and crazy, but honestly, just like the regular <laughs> lifting old school method is like best, I think. Um, so building the legs, I would say the leg press, if you're, or the squat, so leg press or squat. Um, but if you're trying to build glutes, then definitely not those. Um, a lot of, even like, a lot of us girls think that squatting is gonna build your butt, and that's not like the main focus of a squat. Um, you're, it's gonna target your legs more than your butt. So if you're trying to build your butt, then, so a squat, you're standing, right? So you're gonna go from here to here, that's your range of motion for a squat. But if you wanna build your butt, you need to come from down here, up. So something like the hip thrust is gonna target your butt. Just rule of thumb, so you guys know. Good question. So legs is here, butt is here, if that makes any sense. Anything else? We're good right now. Okay, cool. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna move over to a rope pole. And so just kind of let me show you. When I do back, right, I'm gonna think about, okay, I want something that's gonna work my lats, but I don't want to overwork my lats. I want, I want exercises that are going to also work like the middle of my back, right? So when I build a workout, I think about the different muscle groups and how to target the different areas. Because if you just do, you know, your pull downs wide or whatever, you're just going to really grow your lats and then you're not going to have any middle of your back. It's not going to be hit. So things like the row is going to target the middle of your back. Obviously it's going to hit your lats as well, a little bit of your bicep. But um, just switching up your handles is also really important. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I like to do with the rope here. So you guys can just get some different variations. And on this one, I'm also, with the lat pull down, I like to just do, you know, straight sitting up and down. With this one, I'm just gonna lean back a little bit and I'm really gonna focus on um, squeezing the middle of my back. So here we're leaning back a little bit and all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull to like your chest but you want to try to pull past your chest as far as you can so we're here and we're gonna pull down past our chest and you don't want to rock back and forth you really just want to focus on keeping your upper body stable And you want to try to at least get eight reps, but I'm going to do 10. Cool. Yes, on um, Facebook, Richard wants to know, have you ever tried kettlebell training? And if so, what did you like or not like about it? I love kettlebell training. I was actually going to do some movements today with kettlebells, but I decided against it. Um, I love kettlebell training. I love functional movement, so I love to incorporate kettlebells with my functional training to add some weight. But um, I'm a huge fan, huge fan. 
and YouTube wants to know, what's your favorite post-workout meal? Um, I mean, I just like, I just eat like one of my regular meals after it. And so I'll do like lean fish. I'll always do like a carb and a veggie. Um, so for my carbs, just so you guys can kind of see like what I do for carbs. So I think there's like five different carbs that I'll do. Um, I'll do potatoes. I like potatoes over rice personally, just because potatoes work best for my body. And I've learned that from trial and error. Um, so that's something else too that I think that is really important. If you are, you know, trying to figure out like what works best for you, try to do like a certain food for so long and then write it down and kind of document it and then do this food for so long, write it down, document it. That's how I found out that potatoes work better for me, for my body. So I'll either do red potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, rice is still a good carb, but it just doesn't work best for me. Pasta, so maybe I'll do like 100 grams of pasta. Um, quinoa is really good because it also has some protein in it. So potatoes, for me, I'll do potatoes, quinoa, pasta, and then for breakfast, I'll do like gluten-free bread as like an option. So those are like the four carbs that I'll kind of like switch between. Good question. Is there something else? Um, what is the worst job you've ever had? The worst job? Um, oh my gosh, when I was like 14. So I've been like basically an entrepreneur since I was 14. I, um, I made like Paige's Pooper Scooper Company. That's a true story. And um, I hung up flyers all over my neighborhood with like my number, like we can pull it off. And I literally picked up dog poop in people's yard for like 20 bucks. <sighs> but you know what? I picked up so much poop. Like I was the pooper scooper like of the neighborhood. Like I, I like banged when I was 14. I mean like who doesn't want to pick up dog poop? Everyone. So who would? Me. So like I would like collect 20 bucks from like every house, like smart. It, it, I feel like it's better than mowing lawns because mowing lawns you're there for like an hour. Picking up poop you're there for like 10 minutes. Smarter, not harder, I'm telling you. Okay, I am going to put this over here. Is there another question? Yes, what do you think of CrossFit? Um, I think that, I mean, I actually did CrossFit and I, I liked it. It wasn't, I, I, mean, I don't know if I could like do it like, like full time, but um, I actually really like challenging myself and like trying new things. I have a friend, Ryan, who owns a CrossFit gym, so I kind of like go in there sometimes and train with him, but I think it's really awesome. It's challenging, it's completely different. I don't know if I would do that as my main thing, but I think it's a, a good workout. And Liz from Facebook wants to know, <clears throat> do you have a go-to pair of leggings for working out and what's your favorite workout attire? Ooh. Well, these leggings I just got, they're um, from a company called Avocado. I just found them and I'm actually kind of obsessed with them. Um, but my favorite leggings, I don't know, that's so tough. I mean, the things that I look for in leggings, though, are um, A, something that's like comfortable that you can like squat in and not like be see-through. And I don't like like super high-waisted leggings, but these, you can kind of like roll them up or roll them down. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like, I kind of like have like a wide variety of like leggings. I'll find like a piece, like one legging of this brand that I like and then another piece of this brand that I like. So it kind of varies. That was a good question though. Is there another question? Yes. What are some of your other hobbies? Hobbies? What is that? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I like to do like outdoorsy things. If you guys follow me on like social media, you guys would see that I like to do like game night with my friends. So I do have friends. They're just I don't really hang out with them that much. But um, we do like game night. Like we'll play like I don't know, like Pictionary or like stuff like that. But I like to do like adventure stuff, hiking, 
stuff like that. No, I'm kidding. I like to do, I do stuff. Like, I have so many hobbies. Like, what? Okay, we're going to do a um, push down with, this is like going to end our um, third circuit. So, <clears throat> this is more of like a lightweight uh, exercise. You can't like really go too, too heavy here. The focus is really, like I was saying, that mind to muscle connection. So I'm only doing 30 pounds here. So feet shoulder width apart. You want to have a slight bend and you want to pull to your belly button. So I also, when I do these types of movements, I don't like to grip the bar um, because that's going to work a lot of your forearm. So I just kind of use my palm to like rest on the bar and pull to your belly button. I feel like when you don't fully hold on either, you feel it more in your lats. And because it's a lighter weight exercise, you can do a little bit more reps. So I'm gonna do 12 to 15 here. Perfect. Is there another question? <laughs> yes, this one's a funny one. Puppies or kittens and why? Oh my gosh, hold on. Yes, water! <laughs> you guys read my mind. Um, puppies or kittens, I mean, both are awesome, but dogs for sure. But cat lovers, I love cats too. Um, but I have two dogs and they're the best. I have two bulldogs, so I'm a, just a dog lover. That was a good question. Um, Timmy from Twitch wants to know, what would you suggest for someone who has had a hard time eating enough when they work out? Oh man, so I remember when I first started in the, you know, in my fitness journey, and I was like 100 pounds, and now I'm like 130, 30-ish. Um, so I've put on like 30 pounds over the years. And when I first started, I mean, I remember I had to eat a lot, right? Because I wanted to put on size. And the only way to do that is by upping those calories. And it was so hard. And people think like, oh, like you get to eat like so much. Like it's actually harder than you think. So I feel your pain. But um, literally just try your best. You just have to like keep doing it. And once you keep doing it, then your body is just naturally be gonna become hungry at those times. Because now like I get so hangry if I don't eat. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't, I can't survive. Like, um, but before I do remember when I was first starting out and eating those meals, it was so hard. But you just have to try your best. And um, I don't know how much you're eating now, but just add another meal. Once that gets comfortable, add your other meal. Once that gets comfortable, just add meal by meal so you're not like killing yourself. Um, put, I added in like a lot of shakes when I was trying to do it because shakes are just like naturally easier um, than like a meal. So, but now if I just eat or drink shakes, I'm like starving to death. So, it's a long, like a long, um, long journey, but you can definitely do it. Just like keep with it. Um, YouTube wants to know when doing back, do you go for high weight, low rep or higher rep, lower weight? Um, it depends. So I like to switch it up. Um, some days I'll go in and I'll lift heavy, uh, which I'll do less weight. And some days I'll go in and I'll even switch up. Um, I mean, I like you can literally switch it up by so many ways. By lifting heavy, lower weight. Lifting light, obviously higher weight. You can also come in and you can do um, like your eccentric motions can be slowed down. So like, for example, when you're pulling, right, you pull fast and then you're releasing three seconds slow. Or if you're doing a bicep curl, you pull up fast, you're releasing slow. Um, you can also come in and just like, kind of like hyper lift and you're lifting more fast and it's gonna, um, you have different fiber, fibers in your muscle, right? So if you lift faster, your different fibers are gonna play different roles. So you can come in and just like on something lift faster. Uh, so there's so many different ways that you can just switch it up and my best recommendation is to switch it up. Perfect. Facebook wants to know what's the best concert you've ever been to. Ooh, um, that's a tough one. But I like country music. 
I hope you guys don't unfollow me for saying that. Um, I like country music, um, and I think some of the best country concerts are like the most most enjoyable, just because everyone is like super chill, super laid back. They're just like having a beer, hanging out, dancing silly. Uh, so I think some country concerts I've been to are the best. Lisa from Facebook wants to know how much cardio do you recommend? Um, obviously, it just depends on your goals, right? So if you are trying to lose weight, then you need to up that cardio. Sorry to tell you. Um, but once you get to the weight that you want to get to, I don't do cardio that much. I, I, I just do some hit cardio. Sometimes I'll jump on, you know, the Stairmaster or something if I need to, like, lean down for something and I need to, like, you know, cut some, you know, cut some pounds really fast. But it all depends on your goal. So if you're trying to lose weight, you're going to have to do cardio. It's just inevitable. But if you are, once you get to that way, just think like, oh my gosh, once I get there, I'm not gonna have to do this anymore. You know, I'm not gonna have to like kill myself um, doing cardio. So it all depends on your goals. Um, if you are trying to lose weight, I would you definitely recommend to do it at least three to four times a week. Um, but yeah, depends. Is there anything else? No, we're good right we're now. We're good? Okay, let's jump into this. We have two more sets of this. We're gonna lift our weight a little bit. And we're back in action. This is heavy. Bring on that super set. Jump over here. Watch out for this bar because sometimes the bar is heavier than the weight. Get our stance going. Bring on the super set. Okay, one more set and we're done. Is there another question? Yes, would you ever consider going fully plant-based? Um, you know what, I, I think I will when I'm older, because I actually think it's really good for you. Um, but right now, because I'm trying to like do what I do as a profession, it's just so hard for me to get in my protein intake, being vegan, um, especially like being on the road a lot. Already being pescatarian is hard enough because a lot of places don't have options that I can eat. And so I can't imagine being vegan <laughs> and doing it. Um, but I definitely think when I'm older, I will be plant-based for sure. That's a really good question. So YouTube wants to know, they know you travel a lot, but which hotel has the best gym? Wow. Um, <laughs> Which hotel has the best gym? I mean, I don't know off the top of my head, but that is definitely a requirement when I go places. If I do have a choice, I try my best to be like a diva and tell them I need red Skittles and a good gym. Just kidding. I do, I do say I need a, a good gym though. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not a diva, I don't think. <laughs> but I, I definitely am like, is there a good gym there? Because we need to make sure there's a gym. And that's the first question I ask when I get there. I'm like, is your gym open 24 hours? You know, like, is, is that like a thing? But good question. What's your favorite candy? Speaking of Skittles, uh, my favorite candy is probably Swedish fish. I just love those things and there's no fat in them. So carb up, carb load, sweetest fish. I, they're amazing, they're so good. All right, let's get this last set and we can ask some more questions. Gonna lose all my gains, just kidding. Okay.
got passed out. Is there another question? What's your What's a secret talent that you have? Secret talent that I have, I can lick my elbow. So I think you have to prove it. No, <laughs> no, 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 oh my gosh. But um, secret talent, I think either that or um, I can like make like a peace sign with my toes. I can be like, peace. That's pretty cool, right? I'm, I'm full of party tricks. I don't know. Is there, is there another? Is there another question? Uh, YouTube wants to know, would you recommend using a weightlifting belt to work out? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't do it, but I have a lot of friends that swear by it, so I, I should probably do it, but I don't, so yes. I would have to say yes on that answer. Just, I don't do it, so. But, all my friends that do it, where buy it? Oh no. Okay. We're done, you guys. That was it. So repeat all that stuff three times. Try to hit eight to 12 reps on everything. Is there any more questions? Yeah, we'll take a few. Um, YouTube wants to know, what food will, would you be willing to eat for every meal for the rest of your life? Eggs, that's such an easy answer for me. Eggs and toast. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but I love eggs and toast. Like, I eat fish every day. And granted, you can switch up fish, but sometimes, you know, it gets a little, like, boring. I never complain about eating eggs and toast. And I eat it every day. So, eggs and toast. I know it sounds very weird, but I just like it. I don't know why. All right, and you have to let them know where can they find you on social media. Yeah. So, if you guys aren't following me on social media, psh, psh, just kidding. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram, Paige Hathaway, Twitter. Paige Hathaway. Guess what? Facebook. Paige Hathaway. Um, YouTube. Paige Hathaway. And my website. We can we all say it together? Paige, Paige Hathaway. Hathaway. <laughs> and there you go. If you don't remember that, then I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming on and doing this live with me. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully I'm back soon because this was awesome. And again, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Paige Hathaway. I love you guys so much. <laughs>